Hi everyone. I just wanted to share with you a couple of things that I've been doing. One is my glue book. My glue book is very fun and I just uh, work in here to relax a little bit and it's not just a glue book. Um, you know I started it This is the front. I think I've shown it to you before. On the back. Mostly just napkins, I think. And then Christmas little tuck spot collage. But in my glue book, I don't just glue. I also try out different things with paints and stamps and stencils to see how they look. So this is one page. This is another page. Um, I'm, I was starting to get some watches. So I have another one that could actually go there. I think I'll trim it down though. And then, you know, you can put uh, things in here like uh, whatever you've got. You can, I've painted with watercolors because it's kind of translucent and looks nice. Or you can put whatever you would like to have. Maybe this one would look kind of cool. And these are just uh, these are just old-fashioned past oil pastels. So then you just kind of smear it out. You don't need to be accurate with these. And just like other things, the more you put down, the more intense the pigment. Let's see how we're doing here. Looking good. And so you just, uh, I just keep going. I don't want to get any over here because it is oil, so I'll want that to glue down. So I would just continue. working on the page until I have almost everything filled in. And that makes it kind of like an art journal. So there we go. And I I will I would finish that. I wanted to show you some other things though. This is a uh, page in the my next page. I don't know what I'm trying to think of. Um, where I was also gluing a watch. Another one I started here. Not sure where that's gonna go. And this one I love. It's it's with paper bag, and um, I can do that um, if you would like for me to show you how I do that. So I just I just uh, crumple up the paper bag and um, tear it, and then d distress the edges. And glue them down, and it makes it makes a nice um, background for a focal point. So that's what I would do. Let's see. I don't know what else. I don't think. Oh no. So I could actually show you how I do that. So. Um, that's the progress I've made in my glue book. I need to date those pages. Be sure you date your pages when you make them. So.
So there's that one. And then and then I sort of gathered together some things for for clusters. And um you know, you don't have to you, have, you don't have to go overboard. Some people make very very um simple clusters and they're elegant. So, I don't know where I got these. These are from Calico Studio. I think I got these in Happy Mail. And I just love them. They're just uh so pretty. So, you could just uh kind of glue them around. like that and I go for um, I, I kind of go for that's my dog uh, it's almost time for him to have his medicine so if you're concerned he's uh, he's on medication for that cough so these are this is um, how I collect um, colors that are similar that are on the same side of the color wheel together if you use a color wheel. And then um, APG Jamie um, noticed this, this one. I'll just remove this for a minute. This one um, is one I had made and it was in, I think, my last video. And this is what I do when I'm not worrying about other things. I do stuff like this. And then, you know, I might put it onto, onto a journal page or a, a tag um, like that. So there's that one. And then, if I am, here's another one. So I just, in my stash, I just kind of go around and look for some colors that seem to go together. These all go together. This one, and eh. That one, and eh. So these would look nice and I made this this little paper clip embellishment you know I'm just sitting and um, watching videos or listening to something and I don't know I just get inspired by something and so these are from Mona Stevens and I really I really enjoy these these are something that I would use on a cluster so pretty and then there's some flowers in here some little flowers So like that. Then I have another another one of these. And let's see what's in here. Something else. So there's some a little a little rose shape. I probably wouldn't use that. Not as pleasing to my eye as one of the one of the sequins. I mean you could use it, but it would just be 
for me not to, I think so. So in the case of these smaller sequins, then I would just like that. And with maybe one central one in the middle. So this is how I would put together a cluster. This would be some washi tape that would go with this group. And so there we go. Check my time. 11 minutes. Um, I'm still in shock. Good. So another one. Um, I'll just put these over here, I think. Another one is actually with the paper bag material and you know again these are just things that that are around on my table here or um, somewhere and this is this is a squashed up one so kind of like that. And if I was going to make a flower shape, you know, it would be torn edges. Again, this is just for me. This is, you, you may like to have many different colors, all different colors, like random. And there's no one way. There's no one right way. Everybody has their own tastes and it could even depend on your project, whatever you're going to put the, the cluster on might make a difference. I'll show you what I mean in just a minute. There's a button that I sewed on. I just sewed it on. And this little, this little thing here could be, um, made into one of those little rolled white, rolled roses. And a little bow. And then this is one of my um, pockets. It's just an envelope. You know, it's just a an envelope. But when you put all these pretties on here, I would snip this off at the bottom so that it goes on flat. So then all of these, um, all of these would go, go together. And you could even put this inside. So I hope you see what I mean. So there we go. And then if you if you were doing a journal page, 
with one like this. And you wanted to just embellish the journal page like this. with a, a pocket or a tuck spot like that, then you could even add that. So I just wanted to come on because I was over there making these. Making these like this. And I just happened to think well, you know, I should share that. Why am I just sitting here with it? So this one, um, I'll go ahead and make it up off camera and, um, and I'll show it to you. And if you would like for me to do one on camera, just let me know in the comments and I'll be happy to do that. Um, these are real pretty and you can, um, like I said, you can make a random one or one that sort of fits on one side of the color wheel. So thank you so much for watching, and I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.